A Macon County woman will spend 14 years behind bars for shaking an infant to death. Taylor Burris pled guilty to second degree murder. She admitted to police she shook seven week old Marin Gallagher to death in May of 2022. WND's Karen Isert takes us inside the courtroom. Taylor, do you have anything to say of the outcome of today? As she was escorted to the Macon County Jail, Taylor Burris had nothing to say after just admitting to shaking seven-week-old Marin Gallagher to death. And by entering a guilty plea, you're agreeing the state can prove this count against you beyond the reasonable doubt. Do you understand those things? Yes, Your Honor. Burris pleaded guilty to second-degree murder and was sentenced to 14 years in prison. According to authorities, in May of 2022, Burris was watching the infant in her Forsyth in-home daycare. She first told police the child was hit in the head with a ball, but investigators uncovered the child died from shaken baby syndrome. This, like many others we end up dealing with, is extremely sad and unfortunate, and, uh, but it is the nature of the business, so we have to deal with them as they come along. During Thursday's hearing, victim services spoke for the infant's family, sharing how special those days were that they had with Marin. I now have to talk to my daughters of driving down the road or going to the cemetery. How sad that I never get to hear her voice or to have a real conversation with her. I never get to hear her laugh or hear her say, Mommy, I miss her every day. The sentence Taylor will receive today will never be enough. Marin did not deserve what happened to her. What could a seven-week-old baby possibly do to deserve that type of abuse? Marin would have turned two years old last month. Her family says they will never forget her. With photojournalist Andy Barker, Karen Isert, Debbie Wayne, D News. This is a day-for-day -day eligible sentence, which means she will only serve 50% of her 14-year prison sentence.